guys, my name is Charlie and today I'm going to be talking about Timber Saw and your mid and late game mindsets. Now by mindset here I mean how you're supposed to play around your team. Your hero is much like a tinker in that case. You're most likely supposed to just split push and push out the lanes because you're very fast at doing so with your Chakram and your Timber Chain. Your spells are just very strong at that. Now to say you're not a very good tower pusher because you have no right click. So every time there's a team fight and you're out and pushing in a tower, you're supposed to teleport and fight with your team all the time. You're not an initiator and you should not start the fight as Timber Saw. That is your team. You're just supposed to deal a lot of damage in the team fight. That is your main job. So the main thing you're gonna do as Timber Saw when you play it, you're gonna be trying to split push most of the time. And the way to do this, the best way, is just to have the knowledge to know where the enemies are. When you're split pushing, you're creating a lot of space on the map for your team. Why are you doing this? Well, basically, when you're split pushing like this, you will know most likely where the enemies are. Are they defending the lane you're pushing? Are they not? If they're not, this means they are trying to kill someone somewhere else. And by split pushing a lot, you will get more map control because your lanes will always push to the enemy base so always try to split push as timber and as i said you're not a right clicker you're not supposed to split push and hit the towers if there's a team fight going on when you're split pushing or you're, if your team wants to go and take roshan with you or if they want to smoke gank you should push out the lane and tp back and fight with your team you're just supposed to push out the lanes and farm you're not supposed to do anything else than that. And as I said, by doing this, you're gonna create a lot of space by just killing the creep wave. Now, there are different opportunities when you can do this because you can't just go and split push all the time. You need to check, are the enemies missing? Where are they? You can use the scan and check what they're doing. You can't show yourself if they are all missing. You need to be very careful. They might be looking for you when you're split pushing or they might be doing any something else. But you need to wait till at least one core shows himself on the lane. So right now in the game, Let's say the enemies are pushing your high ground and you can go and push the enemy high ground alone. The thing you should do is push out the wave you are pushing and basically TP home. Your high ground defense is the best in the game up with Tinker and Elder Titan. You just throw your Chakram and you're gonna be doing a lot by defending your high ground. So if the enemies are trying to high ground you, you should always defend your base other than doing anything at all. So prioritize your base first because that is your job. Defend the high ground and your team can go and split push if they have the heroes for it. So I'm gonna give you another example here that I just gave you with the rags. If your team just got picked off or someone died in your team and they wanna fight, you should not try to join this because you already lost one player in the team. So if you already lose one in the team, you should never try to fight them four on five. So instead of doing that, you just keep split pushing. And if they force to go on high ground, the enemies, if they're gonna go high ground or if they're gonna push towers, then you can TP home and defend. But as I said, if you're gonna go and fight with your team and your team dies first, you should not fight at all because you're most likely not gonna win the fight. Now, this is something to keep in mind with all the heroes you're playing. Never TP home and fight with your team if you have a disadvantage in players. So right now I'm going to be talking about how to fight as Timbersaw in the fights and what you should be focusing on going for. Now in the late game there are most likely going to be BKBs on many heroes so you're not going to be able to kill them at all. You need to wait out the BKBs and then you're free to do whatever you want. So if there's a team fight and you have to focus someone you need to go for the one that you can actually try and kill. You should not go for someone that has a BKB on or someone that has a glimmer cape that can just run away. You need to go on someone that you know for sure you can kill if you go on them. So this means going on the supports is very good if you can't go for the carry. So always try to kill the easy supports first, the ones that can lock you down otherwise. You can try to burst like a lion or an oracle, always go for those targets. Because they will be very easy to kill and they will have such an impact on the game if they're alive. So always try to kill the easy supports first and then you can focus on the carry. Because you can easily kill carries as well because you have so much damage. But you need to wait out the BKBs. So after the BKBs you can focus on the carries again and then you can most likely just kill them. And the reason why you're not supposed to kill the targets that has a BKB on is because you have absolutely no damage then you right click. And Timbersaw is not a right click hero. So you need to wait out the BKB before going for the guy with the BKB on. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my mid and late game mindset on how to play Timbersaw. I hope you enjoyed this video. If not, even if you like it, leave a comment and tell me what you like and what you not like so I can try to get better at this.